Hi, I'm Jeff Giroux, contractor at the Fort Riley R2 Performance Center, a part of the Army Resilient Directorate. And today we're going to be talking about mindset. A, and more specifically, a mindset of excellence, a mindset of success. And to do that, I want to let, let's look at some of these excellent performers that we see around in, in the world around us. And they may be professional athletes, uh, singers, songwriters, uh, dancers, uh, or even parents, siblings, XCOs, whoever you feel is that excellent performer. And I want you to ask the question of what makes them excellent? What, do, what about them sets them apart? What do you think makes them so much better than the other performers around them? And you might, you might think of things like, well, they're, they're driven, they're so passionate, they're so skillful. Um, maybe, maybe it's like great time management skills. They great communicators. They um, encourage the team around them. Or maybe, you know, they great listening ear. They're kind and loving. What, whatever it may be for whoever that excellent performer is. If we look and kind of dig into that, we may ask like, what what are those? If we would categorize these, we'll say they're in line with skills and attitudes, and what these excellent performers do is they they choose they put that time and energy into beating on their craft and working on the skills and enhancing the attitude for them to be the best performer possible and looking at these this group of excellent performers or this one particular but what makes what's the commonality what makes them um, in this in this realm um, of greatness. And really that common thread would be a what Carol Dweck, Dr. Carol Dweck calls a growth mindset. And this growth mindset is for these excellent performers who have a growth mindset, they, they believe that they can learn and grow. And they believe that I can get better and and no matter what, no matter whether they aren't good at something, they can still see, I can get better at it. I'm going to put a little time and energy into it. Or they may be at the top of their game and still striving to get better. Right? Still striving to, there's something out there. So these excellent performers take responsibility to seek out the resources and the opportunities to get better every day. Um, then on... Dr. Carol Dweck's other side, she has the fixed mindset. And people with a fixed mindset, they, they believe that their skills and abilities are born. So either you got it or you don't. And with these, you know, the fixed mindset, it, you know, we, we may see this. It's in like, okay, say I'll, I'll call my buddy over and say, hey, let's go shoot hoops. And he's like, no, no, I, I'm not good at that. I'm just, I've never, I'm a baseball player. I've, I'm ne I've never been good at basketball. And it'd be, no, hey, it's just, we're, it's just pick up. But no, no, no. And so they just believe I don't have that skill, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to try. Now, they have some differences besides growth and fixed um, on one side and the other. They have some differences throughout the day that they may react in different situations. And so with a growth mindset, let's take a look at it. With a growth mindset, they may, they're going to look at challenges and go, hey, I'm going to embrace that. I'm going to, what can I do to get over this hurdle? And on the flip side, that fixed mindset, they're going to see a challenge and just avoid it. Like that, like my friend wanted to come play. I wanted him to come play basketball and he's like, no, I'm just going to avoid it. I'm not good at it. So, you know, no thanks, right? And in another situation, a person with a growth mindset, they're going to see setbacks and push through them. Uh, they, it may be in front of them, but they, they persist and they continue on to push through um, some adversity that's in their way. And someone with a fixed mindset, they're going to, you know, it's like when the tough gets going, the tough get going. But on the fixed mindset, when the tough gets going, 
they quit, right? Or they're gonna only go halfway. So that's, you know, it, it's sometimes common we see that. And it's because they have some limiting beliefs on themselves saying, I, I can't do this, right? We hear that often. Um, in another situation, someone with a growth mindset who they're gonna see effort as it's worth it. If I put a lot of time and energy into developing this skill or attitude, I know at the end of the day, I'm gonna get better, right? And on the flip side, again, the fixed mindset, they're gonna see that effort is worth it or worthless. It's not, it's not gonna be helpful to me. Why am I gonna put any time into that if I'm never gonna achieve that? Why, why even do it, right? And again, for an excellent performer uh, with a growth mindset, they may take criticism as, okay, it's helpful. It's, I can learn from something. Maybe even if they don't truly believe what they're saying is like gold, well, they can take it with a grain of salt. Okay, I want to take this piece and I'm going to implement that into my practice, implement it into my daily routines, and I think I can learn and grow from that. Now, on the other side, the fixed mindset, they're going to see that criticism and, and just ignore it. Or it's not worth it to me. Don't tell me what I have to do because it's not worth it to me because I'm just not good at it, okay? And, and lastly, with a growth mindset, they are often inspired by others, by other success. And so they're going to look at someone and go, wow, I want to do what you've done. And when I watch you, there's a few things that I think I can implement again in my practice, in my routines. And I think that's going to help me. I'm inspired to do better. And someone with a fixed mindset is they're going to feel threatened by that person. Maybe it's that, you know, they're going to see another soldier and I, they got promoted before you did. And that's, that's a threat, right? Um, your success is a threat to me. And that's just the way you look at it, the way you perceive it. Now, at the end of the day, we're going to have different results because of a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. And the result of a growth mindset is we're going to see them be able to achieve higher and higher levels uh, each time. Each time they go out and develop something, they're, they're going to achieve higher and higher. And the result of a fixed mindset is they're going to plateau early. They may have been born with some skills and abilities, and they go, well, I've hit the ceiling. I can't get any better. And, and so they're ultimately not going to achieve that full potential that they have. Now, don't worry, when we talk about fixed and growth mindset, you're not either 100% fixed mindset or 100% growth, uh, growth mindset. It's, it's really on a continuum. So you're going to look at, there's, it may be context or task related. So I'll give you my example. I, I'm an athlete. So you give me, you give me a, any sporting implement. And I feel I can learn if I've never done it before. I'm, I'm an athlete. I think I can do that. So I have a really growth mindset okay, over here when it comes to sports, when it comes to physical activity. But you make me go sit down and pay attention in a class, and you, you give me a math test, classic jock, right? Um, over here, I may be, I'm not good at math. I'm just not good at taking tests. I'm just not good at paying attention when I need to. So really what this comes down to, the takeaway is I want you to be aware of the thoughts, aware of those limiting beliefs that you have that's maybe holding you back and recognize, are those helpful to your situation or are they harming um, or hindering your performance? And so it's these thoughts really matter. These thoughts and these beliefs really matter how we interact in the situations in the day-to-day -day life. So thank you so much. Uh, and come back, listen, and we'll have some more stuff soon. Thanks.